Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, unboxing and review of the Transcend Smart Reader. This is a OTG uh, device for Android. OTG stands for On The Go and uh, it enables um, Android phones and tablets to access uh, USB devices that are plugged into them. In this case this is a card reader. It has a SD card slot, a micro SD card slot and an external USB port on it. Uh, connects to the phone or tablet through a micro USB connection. Uh, the model number on it is RDP9. Uh, let's open up the box and see what we got in there. Okay, so we have a little plastic holder that's holding everything together. Uh, inside that we've got a Transcend warranty card, um, advertisement for Transcend memory modules. I'll just set that to the side. Give it a good tap there to knock this out of the holder. All right, so the device itself is uh, relatively small. We um, have a micro USB connector on this end here on the cable. Then on this side, we have a standard SD card slot. Then on this side here, we've got a micro SD card slot. And finally, on this side, we have a regular USB port. For the demonstration, I'm going to be using my Samsung Galaxy S5 micro SD card, the Transcend OTG Smart Reader, and a SanDisk flash drive. Next, I'll show you how to get it all connected. Now you're going to want to take the card reader and hook it up to your phone. Simply plug in to your micro USB connector. On the phone at the top, it said uh, USB connector connected. Now we're going to insert the micro SD card into the slot in the bottom of the card reader. Simply push it in. Then on the phone it says USB mass storage connected. It flashed up at the top of the screen very quickly. Once you do that it pulls up your local storage options which um, one I just added is USB storage A. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's on that card. I'm going to select A. You'll see there's a couple directories and a movie file. So you can do what you want to with the movie file from here. If you want to just play it, you could do that by selecting the video in your video player and actually view that file directly from the memory card on the screen of the phone. But I want to do something with that. I want to copy it. I'm going to copy this file to the phone. So press menu and select. And then I'm going to select that movie file, menu again, copy. Once you do that, it's going to take you back to your local storage options. So I'm just going to copy this onto the SD card that is in the phone. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to select paste here. So when I do that, you'll see that it's copying. It shows a percentage, 0 of 1 files. Now it says one item copied and is now appearing in the directory of the uh, SD card. From there I can leave it, carry it home on my phone, edit it, upload it, do whatever I would like to do with that. So here's one of the great features of this card reader and the fact that it's a smart reader acts kinda like a hub. More than one device or port will work at the same time. I've got this flash drive here and I'm gonna plug into the side of the card reader when I do you'll see that it flashes getting power and then that device pops up in my local storage as USB storage B. A is the card, B is the flash drive. Okay, so here's an example if you're out shooting with your action camera and you want to move your files from your memory cards to a flash drive for safekeeping or if your cards were full and you needed extra storage whatever this is where this hub comes in handy no need to have a laptop out you can do all this from your phone with stuff that you can carry in your pocket so I'm gonna select USB storage A and go back to that movie file I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select that file again and copy it 
when I do that it'll take me back here I'm gonna select storage B it's basically the same as what we did before by pasting it on the phone I put it directly onto the flash drive straight from the card without ever having to access the memory on the phone or take up any of that space this file is now on the flash drive once you're done with your card and flash drive you'll need to safely remove those from the hub and this is how you do that just go back to your home screen pull down from the top and you'll see where it says USB mass storage connected select to remove USB mass storage safely so we'll do that we'll press that and then at the bottom of the screen right here in just a moment you will see it flash up USB mass storage removed safely which means now it is through reading and writing to the card and the flash drive and I can just simply pull those out at this time and they will be no danger of um, corrupting a file or anything. If I'm done, I can go ahead and disconnect this from my phone as well. And um, that's it. Very simple process. Very intuitive and easy to use. I highly recommend this card reader to anybody that um, has a need for additional storage on their phone or is, enjoys uh, shooting videos with action cameras or some other kind of camera and needs that additional storage space to get your files home safely. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.